Hi! So, we are here in Dessau Hauptbahnhof, no? So, for today's video, uh, magkaroon po tayo ng short um, tour dito sa Dessau at alamin po natin kung anong meron dito sa Dessau kasi we are very, um, what you call this one, um, curious about this place. Kung anong pa talagang meron dito. Kaya samahan nyo po kami sa araw nito. Baba na po kami. So, ito yung itsura ng Dessau Hauptbahnhof, no? So, nasa tunnel po kayo. So, kasi train station nga siya, diba? So, wala siyang masyadong design. Parang, Poorly. Poorly. <laughs> so, ganyan lang siya, guys. Huwag ako punta. Huwag kayong masyak dito sa Desau Hauptbahnhof, no? So, ganito siya. Yung walk path nila, papunta at palabas ng kanilang train station. So, sa likod lang po namin, yan po yung ano, Desau Hauptbahnhof, no? So, interesting fact, kasi yung Desau, kahit yung parang wala siya. Parang mingaw talaga siya dito, guys. Yung parang, ano bang mingaw sa Tagalog? Tahimik! Hindi masyadong matao. Ay, hindi ko lang alam sa city center pero meron din po siyang tram kaya subukan po natin yung sakay ng tram meron din po sila ditong Strassenbahn guys kaya sasakay po kami dito sa Strassenbahn nila color green Strassenbahn Dessau is a town and former municipality in Germany at the confluence of the rivers Mulde and Elbe in the Bundesland of Saxony Anhalt Since 1st July 2007, it has been part of the newly created municipality of Dessau, Roslau. The Dessau tram network has three lines and is supplemented by numerous bus lines. Dessau's public transport is operated by Dessauer Verkehrsgesellschaft, which transports around 6 million people each year. Dessau Hauptbahnhof the main train station has connections to Magdeburg, Berlin, Leipzig, Halle, Bitterfeld, and Lutherstadt Winterberg. The line from Berlin was opened on 1st September 1840. The Sau-Bitterfeld line was electrified in 1911, the first fully electrified long-distance railway in Germany. Dito sa Dessau, meron po silang ano dito, Rathaus Center. So sa Rathaus Center nila, Doon po makikita ninyo yung mga parang mall, ganoon, tapos may mga restaurant, katulad ng mga Vietnamese restaurant, ano. So, kumain po kami doon. Kumain po kami dito, guys, sa Vietnamese restaurant. Diba? Kumain and tapsan? Tapsan lang. Dessau is located in the flat landscape of the Saxon lowland. The bike roads have a length of about 146 kilometers and connects all the parks and sites. Regarding transportation, Dessau can be described as being multimodal, with transportation options ranging from bikes, buses, trams, and cars. So, ito po yung nasa likuran ko ang Schloss Georgium. So, ngayon close po siya pero mag-open po siya ulit sa June 3 and there will be a piano recital concert. The Georgium is a princely palace in Dessau, Germany. It was built for Johann George von Anhalt Dessau, younger brother of Leopold III, Duke of Anhalt Dessau. It now houses the Anhaltische Gemälde Gallery Art Gallery, an art museum with a focus on old master paintings and graphics. It goes back to the collections of the Anhalt dynasty, the city of Dessau and the free state of Anhalt and has only been in the palace since 1959. So ngayon naman puntahan po natin yung Mausoleum Dessau. No? Yan po yung nasa likuran ko guys. So maglalakad po tayo papunta dyan. The Mausoleum in Dessau is a former burial place of the Dukes of Anhalt in the Dessau-Roslau district of Zieberg. Today, the Tier Park Dessau is located on the site of the Mausoleum Park. The Mausoleum was built between 1894 and 1898 by the architect Franz Heinrich Schwechten. The construction has a total length of 46 meters, a total width of 38 meters, and is 43 meters high. The dome has a diameter of 14 meters. Sobrang napakaganda po niya, no? Napakalaki po ng mausoleum na yan. So, kung gusto po kayong papasok dyan sa mausoleum, meron po siyang entrance na 7 euros. The Philanthropinum in Dessau existed from 1774 to 1793 and was the most important educational establishment of philanthropy. 
The school was originally intended as a training center for educators but became an educational institute for the sons of the nobility and wealthy citizens using new teaching methods that were recognized throughout Europe. The Marien Kirche is an originally Catholic, since 1534, Protestant sacred building in the center of the city of dessau Roslau in Saxony-Anhalt, which today serves as an event center. It was destroyed in the air raids on Dessau in March 1945 and only rebuilt in the 1990s. St. Marien used to be the palace and town church. As a castle church, the building has also served as a burial place for the princess of Anhalt Dessau and their families since the 16th century. The main crypt was laid out in the 1738 by Prince Leopold I, the larger of the two crypts on the ground floor to the tower from 1848 to 50 has ribbed vaulting over a central column. Das Museum für Stadtgeschichte Dessau, or the Museum of City History, has been in the Johan building since 1999. Only this building, the west wing of the former residential palace of the princes and dukes of Anhalt, remained after the destruction of 1945. With Johann Bau, the city of Dessau owns one of the oldest and most important palace building of the early Renaissance in Germany. The permanent exhibition, Scenery of Reasonable People, Culture and History in Anhalt, Dessau, offers a 1,000 meter square walk around the approximately 800 year history of the city of Dessau and its region. Various special exhibitions and events enrich the program. Dessau was known to be a town that has its own government and it was first mentioned in 1372. The head of the town called Schultheis was constituted by the count. Together with a few assessors, the Schultheis formed the town council. As of 1372, the town council was divided into two agencies, as of 1600 into three agencies, and as of 1785, again into two agencies. The Schultheis of Dessau changed nearly every year until the town council constitution was cancelled in 1832. Afterwards, Dessau became a town council and a town delegation constitution. Since 1852, the town leader is called mayor. During the National Socialist period, the mayor was appointed by the party. After World War II, the Soviets formed an executive council with a mayor. The town council constitution was elected by the people. Since German reunification, this committee is freely elected. Since 1994, it has been called Stadtrat. Since 1994, the mayor is directly elected by the people. In 2007, Dessau became part of the municipality Dessau Roslau. Tapos kami sa loob ng bus ng Dessau. And so natapos na rin yung aming paglalakbay, no? So malapit lang pala yung mga scene view guides dito sa Dessau, yung mga places that you want to take pictures such as their marketplace, yung pinaka rat house, ganito. So ang maganda lang sa Dessau, guys, is meron siyang tinatawag na rat house center. Tapos doon yung mga shopping malls, doon pupunta yung mga tao. Shopping malls, doon yung mga ano, shopping center. Ayan. So Maganda siya, actually, kahit tahimik siya. Tapos busy din yung streets nila, no? So, at uh, easy din yung access sa kanilang sasakyan kasi meron silang stress and ban, ganun. At saka mga bus. At valid din po yung 49 ticket euros ninyo, no? So, ganun lang. So, nandito po tayo ngayon sa kanilang Mark Platz, no? So, ito po yung pinaka-main plaza ng Tisao. So, sana na gusto nyo po yung video na to, guys. At uh, nagkaroon po tayo ng ano, chance na malakbay natin yung Desau. So, nagpunta tayo sa Hopanoff at dito sa uh, main ano nila sa, sa, sa loob ng kanilang ano, city center. So, maganda naman pala yung Desau. Maliit at saka progressive din na ba yan. No? So, hanggang susunod ko po mga travel this is Jungle Channel, guys. Bye!